This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. And the new shows roll on. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Well, we had to cut the show into two parts because it just went on and on and on. There's too much TV. So let's continue with the new shows. Me, Myself, and I, sitcom, the life of a genius at three points in his life at age 14, 40, and 65. Jack Dylan Grazer, Bobby Moynihan from SNL, and John Larroquette star. Sharon Lawrence plays his love interest in the year 2045. Single camera, so big concept here. And, of course, Larroquette is always good. So the question is, how much of it's going to be Larroquette? Yeah. <laughs> you know? If he's yeah. in it like 10% of the time, yeah. I don't know. And this is, this really, I think, is just directly related to that um, sitcom, or not sitcom, but the show from this year where it was like the triplets and it went back this, in time. This is Us. This is Us. That's yeah. This we is, I, we this watched one episode of that. I right. wasn't that interested. But it's the same kind of concept with the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. SEAL Team Military Drama. David Boreanaz returns to TV after about 20 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I, now, here's the thing. You can't say somebody returns to TV if the, the the last rerun, network rerun of his last show showed last week. Yes. <laughs> SEAL Team leader juggles missions and family life. I'm wondering if he's a little old for this role. I think so, too. <laughs> I mean, but... I was hoping he'd be more like the guy in the back, like, Telling the young yeah. <laughs> soldiers what to do. But no, he's in the middle of it. Yeah. And CBS, of course, loves their military dramas. Indeed. <laughs> SWAT police drama based on the TV series and film. Shamar Moore returns to TV also after, after 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> this will crash and burn. Uh, I am predicting yeah. very much because, as we all know... <laughs> TV shows based on movies are always huge hits. Yeah. <laughs> Wisdom of the crowd. Stop me if you've heard this before. Visionary tech guy revolutionizes crime solving. This go around, Jeremy Piven is the tech guy. His daughter's murder goes unsolved, so he uses crowdsourcing to find bad guys. The other versions of this show, including Pure Genius, yeah. <laughs> struck out. Yeah. We'll see how this does. I don't think it will do well at all. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> Over on the CW, Valor, military drama, all about an elite army helicopter team, <laughs> apparently brought up from a modeling agency. Mm -hmm. This very much seems like a better fit for CBS or ABC. Uh, CW, this is not your forte. I doubt this will last. Well, well maybe there'll be a lot of <laughs> angst. Yeah, I, And it'll be like... You know, 20 and 30 year old angst. Angst, as opposed to teenage, teenage angst. Teenage angst. Because, you know, CW's audience is right. aging now. That's right. Well, unless, I think unless Arrow shows up on a crossover or something. Maybe there'll trouble. be lots of salmon ladders. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dynasty, a soap. I guess Falcon Crest was unavailable. Mm -hmm. Grant Show from Melrose Place is Blake, which makes me feel old. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. A bunch of models are the rest of the cast, and we get a cat fight in the trailer. But where's Alexis? Yeah. Alexis is not listed. Oh, no. Execs from Gossip Girl, Jane the Virgin, and the original Dynasty. And I'm wondering how long until the original cast members make cameos. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing by episode two. Yeah. Over on Fox, The Gifted. This is comic book action. Mm -hmm. The Marvel Machine cranks out another series, this time X-Men adjacent. Which a, explains why it's on Fox. Because Fox owns the X-Men franchise still. Kids exhibit mutant powers. They and their parents are on the run from the Sentinel Agency, which is a major Marvel reference, but although the Sentinels are giant robots in yeah. the comics and not, and not a secret government agency. Oh, and the dad prosecutes mutants in his day <laughs> job. <laughs> Stephen Moyer, Amy Acker's star, Brian Singer is an exec. It's very slickly produced. It might work. And I love Amy Acker so yeah, much. Yeah, I know. And especially because it's a Fox show on Fox. Yeah. This is a big issue. You you already have two strikes against you if you're, say, a show from Disney and it's on CBS. Yeah. Because they will drop you far faster than a show they have a, have a piece yes. of. The Orville, a sci-fi comedy. 
Seth MacFarlane stars and exec produces, along with Brandon Braga. From Star Trek. Yes. Seems like Seth saw an episode of Other Space mm -hmm. and said, I can do that. Yeah, that's what I thought when I saw the trailer. <laughs> it's very much a TNG parody, down to the ships and the uniforms. Just close enough, but away far enough to get not to get sued. Yes. <laughs> Adrian Palicki, Penny Johnson, Gerald, who was Cassidy on DS9. Oh, gee. And Norm MacDonald as a CGI jelly creature. <laughs> John Favreau directs the pilot. The trailer, I thought, was very funny. Mm -hmm. If Seth can stay away from toilet humor, yeah. which uh, I don't think he'll do. I don't think he can. It could be great. Yeah. We'll watch it for a little oh, while. Oh, yeah. Ghosted Paranormal Comedy. Adam Scott and Craig Robinson in an X-Files parody, because one is a believer and the other isn't. Ah, uh, okay. They are grabbed by a secret government group and assigned to save the world from aliens. This is if Fox gives it a chance. Yeah. I think it will do well. but And depending upon what it's paired with. Yes, very important. Over on NBC, The Brave, say it with me, military, military drama. drama. Story of two different but equally important groups. Oh yes, equally important. <laughs> a DC security team and an international undercover team. Not sure how these go together. Seems like a show created by committee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Heish... And Mike Vogel, who was under the dome, star. It seems like Anne Hish is another one of those people that keeps getting put in shows. And that don't work. Yeah. <laughs> a production team from Homeland <laughs> is involved, so uh, we'll see. Yeah. There's also a ton of mid-season shows. But you never know with those whether they're <laughs> actually going to make it to air. Or radically change between yeah. now and then. So like, like Powerless did, yeah. and, you know. So. Yeah, probably to its, its detriment. Detriment. So we'll skip most of them. But I didn't want to talk about two of the shows. Okay. CW, Black Lightning, comic book action. DC and the, CD, and the CW get another superhero show, this time based on one of DC's first African-American heroes. And we're assuming, although we don't know, that it's in the same... It's, it's, it's in the Arrowverse. Is it from the same people? Yep. Okay, well then it probably it is. It almost something. certainly will yeah. be... It, or an alternate Earth like Supergirl is. It could be. How long before there's a crossover? I'm yeah. guessing in the first season. I like those crossovers. So there might be a, a, a five-way crossover <laughs> <laughs> with all the other DCCW shows. And Black Lightning is probably a better fit for someone like Arrow. Mm -hmm. for, for, you know, it would f that concept would fit better into that. Mm -hmm. ABC. Alex incorporated a sitcom... Zach Braff returns to TV. It's our first sitcom based on a podcast. Oh, jeez. Radio Guy quits his job and starts a podcast company. Yeah, because that's <laughs> the way to make money. <laughs> and he, in the scenes, he has, like, this uh, loft office with all these other people and he suddenly has a company <laughs> it's not clear where he got the money to do all this so it's not just him and in his basement like me venture <laughs> capitalists you i know? guess i mean you know well you look there are a lot of companies coming right. out now yes. like um i forget their names yeah <laughs> glimpse or yeah yeah <laughs> right yeah and that gives you an idea <laughs> panoply that's there that's you go one. panoply is one <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you can watch that, learn about podcasting, or you can uh, just listen to podcasts, mm -hmm. like our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching.